Paul Schenck, the Secretary of the Socialist Party of America, was arrested for distributing anti-war propaganda pamphlets in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, encouraging young men to not register for the draft. His case was appealed to the United States Supreme Court because he and his supporters believed that his actions were protected under the First Amendment's free speech clause. It was finally argued in the Supreme Court on January 9th and 10th, 1919, with a decision being made on March 3rd, 1919. The case was first argued in the District Court for the Eastern District of Pennsylvania before moving to the Pennsylvania Appellate Court, Pennsylvania Supreme Court, and was finally argued in the Supreme Court of the United States on whether or not the First Amendment right to free speech can be revoked during times of crisis and if the First Amendment's free speech extends to the state level. The court decided that Schenck had violated the Espionage Act of 1917, which restricted speech against the government during times of conflict. In the White Court's decision, they affirmed the power of the federal government to suspend individual rights if it is necessary to do so for national security, as well as determining that the First Amendment's free speech clause was incorporated to the states. This decision established the concept of clear and present danger, which furthered the national government's power over the states. Don't let the fear of oppression suppress your true beliefs. War is just a fraud brought on by capitalism. Don't go out for the draft. Sign the petition and end selective service today. And you, Wobbly, you're under arrest for treason against the United States. Again? My actions are all protected under the First Amendment and the freedom of speech. This is a violation of my unalienable rights. This protection of free speech would not protect a man falsely shouting fire in a theater and causing panic. The question in every case is whether the words are of such a manner and are used in such a nature that they are to cause clear and present danger. That they will bring about the very evils that Congress has a right to prevent. In times of crisis, the First Amendment does not protect speech against the United States government that could cause significant popular upheaval. In a unanimous decision of the Supreme Court of the United States of America, we find your actions in violation of the Espionage Act and uphold your sentencing. Clear and present danger comes to a theater near you, March 3rd, 1919.